All right, Aquarius, what I am getting here is you do want a brand new passionate beginning with this person, for sure, okay? This person that you're dealing with, they're very focused on their career, their goals, their money, etc. Okay, so you're definitely dealing with someone who's probably not interested in having a commitment or not interested in any kind of stability, okay? Yes. Because they're very focused on their goals. This is that someone who's very greedy with their energy also at the same time. And here you are, after this breakup, separation, you want something um, new with them. This could also be with Ace of Wands, yeah? this is on your mind, but with Ace of Wands, I also feel that you want to take action towards something that you're passionate about, okay? Maybe you're just giving up on this person because that's there in your feelings. Three of Wands in reverse, yeah, you're, you're no longer being able to be patient and you're giving up on this person, okay? You're fed up of waiting for this person. Once this person here with the Nine of Pentacles, this person is um, either they enjoy being single or I feel that they, 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 um, yeah, Nine of Pentacles, this is someone who's very focused on the money. Look, they have so much money on their mind, you know. You have a lot of passion on your mind, but you're giving up. You're giving up. You're not waiting for them anymore. Your approach is emotionally unavoidable. You're switching off to this person here. Okay, you are. But what I'm getting here is with the Queen of Cups in reverse here, you're being a little emotionally unavailable, but also at the same time, you're probably someone who's wanting that emotional love, but when it comes to reciprocating, you're not giving the same thing to them. And maybe because of that, this person is now focusing on themselves. They're focusing on their goals, their career, okay? They've stopped completely investing into you. And they realize that they realize their support, their value. They realize they're abundant. They're working on their goals. They're uh, absolutely okay on their own, okay? They're, they're not dependent on anyone here. And with the sun here, that approach is they're okay. They're okay with this non-communication. They're happy on their own. The reason for the reading, the root of the issue is the emperor here. So it looks like you this person someone set up healthy boundaries out here yep someone set up healthy boundaries someone was giving in too much and i feel it's this person here so it could be the cross watch aquarius maybe you're this side and this is the person you're dealing with okay wow i take it rather it resonates but someone set healthy boundaries here with the emperor here someone finally took control of the situation you know right now with the high priestess here you're both trying to trust your intuition and trying to stick, keep, keep quiet you're both trying to trust your psychic guidance Maybe you both think you need this break. Let's clarify. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What is this Ace of Wands please? Knight of Cups and Reverse here. Yeah. So you have a lot of passion for this person here, but you're, but you're having a hard time expressing yourself emotionally. Yeah, you don't want to be vulnerable to this person. Ten of Cups. You see this as your happily ever after for sure. But you don't want to express yourself to this person. Like I said, don't want to be vulnerable, don't want to open up. You're having a hard time opening up emotionally. Maybe this is what you want. You want with the Ace of Wands, you just want a very fiery, passionate connection here, okay? Maybe your connection is going in circles. Maybe you're just someone who's always looking for that electrifying experience. And when it gets, uh, when the going gets tough, you know, that's when you burn it back out, you know? And this person is someone who's looking for stability. And this person could be wanting that for you from a very long time at the moment they put up their borders, right? The moment they put up their healthy boundaries. And that's something you don't like. And that's why you guys stop talking. Because you're definitely in and out of this person's life, alright? I feel I'm waiting for the cross water. I don't know why. Alright. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Six of Swords in reverse here. Yes, they are focusing on their work career goals, but at the same time, they're not being able to move on. They're not. They're not. They're not. They know what they need to do, but they're choosing to stay. It's like literally, they, 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 they want to go forward towards you, you know, and they know they need to get out of this rocky waters. But it, because moving on, moving towards the rocky waters is making some kind of significant change, and they're resisting some kind of change. So they keep going back and doing the same thing over and over, over again. Tell me about the Emperor, uh, tell me about the Three of Wands in reverse here. This person keeps going back to doing the things the same way, you know. Instead of having that breakthrough with you, they choose to, you know. 
Yeah, three of wands in reverse here with the hermit in reverse here. You could have isolated yourself away from this person here. But there's some kind of a some kind of an epiphany, some kind of a realization that you've come to, and that realization is that you wanna give up on this person. Because with the three of pentacles in reverse here, you feel like you're hitting a wall with this person. Every single time you try to talk to them, every single time you try to make a point, right? This person is just not available to you, okay? They, you just feel they're not capable enough to work with you, to build with you, you know. You're wanting to build into something stable, okay? But that's just something that they're not in for. It's a very one-sided situation. And you realize, after this period of break, that it's just not going to be working out between you guys. And that's why you're turning your back to this situation. Why the Nine of Pentacles? Give me clarification on the Nine of Pentacles. Five of Wands. It could be that this person chooses to stay single because with the five of wands here, this is a situation that brings in a lot of chaos and drama in their lives. Alright? Either there's too many people involved here, there's like this constant tug of war of whether they want to be with you or not. Or when it comes to being with you, right, they still choose to be single because with the five of wands, like I said, right, A, too many people between you guys, too much competition. Or they're just very conflicted in their head about whether they want to do this with you or not. Because for the Wheel of Fortune in reverse here, this person definitely is looking at the situation very negatively, okay? They just feel that there's this change that they want with you, it's just never gonna happen, okay? They feel like there's this sense of bad luck going around between you and you and them in this connection. Uh, tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. That's why Six of Swords in reverse, because they keep having that internal conflict, you know, that's why they're not being able to move on. Yeah, see, you're being emotionally unavailable and you're shutting the cycle, okay? You're shutting a cycle with this person over the world here. You could have been fighting for this person for a very long time, okay? You could have literally been trying to protect this relationship, is what I'm getting. Trying to keep this relationship safe and secure. But the world, you're ending it with them. You are, you're shutting yourself off, okay? You're shutting yourself off emotionally to this person. And you just want probably a new beginning somewhere else. Not, does not mean with another person, but you're just looking to pursue something else that makes you happy, okay? You're just wanting to take action towards that. You want to get out of this side. This side is definitely no mood of wanting to consult or wanting to communicate, okay? For sure. And that's because this side chooses to remain single and chooses to be very focused on themselves instead of choosing to stay on this relationship or giving this relationship a priority. They know they need to, but they keep going in circles. They don't do it. That's like a pattern that they keep following. Why is the sun here in their approach? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Give me one. Come. Why is the sun here? This is, they are in pursuit of happiness, okay? That's all they give a shit about. All they want to do is they just want to be happy. Again, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So it looks like with the Five of Swords, you're, you're dealing with someone who's quite a sabotaging energy. Alright, so this person constantly chooses to sabotage the connection between you guys. And that is something that you're getting quite fed up of. Okay, you are. So you're dealing with someone who constantly plays mind games. This is someone, you know, who um, keeps pushing you away. Alright? And whenever you want to have a conversation, you know, they keep pushing you away. And that's why now you're so emotionally shut off with this person, not wanting to express yourself. That's why probably you have to set up healthy boundaries here with the Emperor. You have to take control of your life. Because you were just letting this person run all over you, you know? And probably it could be with the sun here, there is a lot of happiness here. But their happiness is making money probably, okay? Their happiness is just their career, their goals, their money, okay? That's all they give a shit about. Yeah, because we have the sun clarified by the, I mean, the queen of pentacles in reverse clarified, which is someone who's just very focused on themselves. Their energy is just more private, you know? They like to work on themselves rather than work together for with someone or work in a relationship okay that's why we have the three of pentacles in reverse that's not a team player you know that's not someone who is ready to collaborate with you they're just not with you on the same page you know? tell me about the emperor yeah 
what I said, like I said, right? You had to shut down someone who was just not taking action with the King of Wands in reverse here. You were dealing with someone who just walks the walk but doesn't talk the talk. Okay? Someone very passive, someone not very focused on you, okay? This is someone who's just focused on the passion part. But when it comes to taking action, comes to taking the lead in the relationship, that's when they back down. And because they back down, because they are indecisive, because they don't seem to be there and they are very dependent, they wait for things to fall into their lap, you are the one who said, you know what, fuck you, I'm gonna stand up, alright? You have to stand up against a person like this. Someone who's just not recipro reciprocal, who doesn't do their part in the in the connection. If this is not even a connection, probably if it's not, it's just someone you really, really like, okay? And you have a lot of emotions for this person, but this person, like I said, very materialistic, all right? They care about the final things in life, and you, on the other hand, are like... This with the Ace of Wands and Knight of Cups in reverse here, you could also be very passionate and very attracted towards this person, okay? But uh, either you feel you're dealing with someone who's not reciprocating to your feelings or someone who doesn't want to be open and vulnerable or this could just be you, okay, who's refusing to be vulnerable to this person this time around. The reason I say that is because that's the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups in reverse here. So yeah, you 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 want a beginning. You're okay with that new beginning, okay? Even though you know what kind of a person you're dealing with. Because you're emotionally shut off. You're showing them how cold and detached you are. But you're dealing with someone who you could have an age difference or an energetic difference, okay? Tell me about the High Priestess here. This is, this neutral energy looks like more like you both know what's going on exactly. But you're both refusing to talk about it. What's the high priestess? See? That's why there's a lack of forward movement here. You both know that something's just not moving forward. Or at least one of you does, okay? Because six of wands in reverse here. Something's just... Ah! Uh, there's this lack of success here, okay? Something, someone feels like a loser or you just feel like you're dating someone who's... Someone just lacks the self-confidence out here. But you're choosing to your intuition, both of you, or at least one of you is choosing your intuition to hold back right now. I'm feeling this is you because we have more wants on your side, okay? You are more passionate about this person. Whilst this person's passionate more about their money, the materialistic things in life. You're choosing to hold back and you're, trust, you're trusting your intuition. You probably feel this is not the right time or you're just not approaching this person anymore. Really, you're trying to even get this person's attention, you know, but not a very healthy way. You're just trying to be a brag or you feel you're dealing with a bragger. But I just feel you're trying to get this person's attention, okay, by using your intuition. You feel this is the best way to get their attention. And probably for you, the best way is to just shut down yourself emotionally, okay? <clears throat> Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse here as the likely outcome? Ten of Pentacles. All right. Okay. Looks like you have some money coming in. What I'm feeling here is with the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles, I feel that this has to do with a commitment. This has to do with that stability, security. And when it comes to this, right, this person is still going to hold on to themselves, okay? They're still not going to give in. It's still going to be bare minimum, bare minimum effort when it comes to providing to you or when it comes to building the security of this relationship. Okay, because that's someone who either, someone who's taking advantage of you, okay. Maybe this person gives you the hopes that they're, look, they're already here at the 9, okay. So they're very close to the 10 here. There are chances, look, communication right now, no. I don't think there is much communication this week, but ultimately there are chances that this person will want to reach this point of uh, security with you. But when it comes to giving, that equal give and take, okay. Maybe it's again, it's you. I feel you guys are still going to get back, but maybe when it comes to giving in, okay, that equal balance, there's still going to be a lack of balance. You're still going to feel like the one who has to always give in. You're still going to feel like the one who always has to be the one to put on all the work and, um, you know, make this relationship work, okay? Because something is definitely feeling unbalanced here. You know, someone's still not doing their part here. And this is in relation to the Ten of Pentacles, which is in relation to the stability, security, okay? 
even if you guys get into a commitment, be very, very careful. There are chances that you're still going to have to put in all the work in return. Okay, you're going to have to do all the work here, okay? So, yeah, that's what I feel. That's what I'm getting here. All right, Aquarius. That's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.